Hi, it's Tracy. It's Mike. And Mike, we're ready to give you an update on how Mike is doing on week three. Three. Of the Optavia plant. So I'll let him tell you how he's All doing. All right, guys, last week we missed y'all because it was my birthday and Easter. And um, I kind of maintained, but we've had a lot of clients in this week. And I've been to dinners and drinks after work. But I still stayed on the fuelings and did my lean and green, but I ate terrible. I'm just going to be honest with you and drank more than I should have. But I am still down. I didn't go up. I'm down to 249.6. I'm below 250. And this week, I'm going to hit it very hard. None of that. And let's see where I'm at next week because this week really sucked, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. I told you he was candid. <laughs> so what has worked for you? Uh, the bars. I love the bars. Okay. That is kind of what has saved me. Oh, sorry. I love the Caramel Delight bars and the Peanut Butter mm -hmm. Chocolate Chip bars. Those are my favorite. And the uh, Strawberry Shakes. And the Strawberry Shakes. Yes, I you love You don't cut them with vanilla or anything. Don't. You like just them. straight strawberry. Okay. Correct. Yep. Okay, because he's normally a savory person, and those are really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. So, would you? what were your bars? The, the caramel, caramel delight. delight and the uh, peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah. I believe I love the peanut butter chocolate chip. It's funny because I don't like the caramel delight, and some people do. It's interesting from person to person the things that they hate. It's kind of like a like. granola bar to me, and I like that. That one is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, lean and greens. How have you managed your lean and greens that did go well? Well, I just ate salads. I basically, once again, as I told y'all last time, I went to Subway. I would get a salad okay. with chicken and that kind of thing on it. Yeah. That's your go-to. My go-to seems to be the Chick-fil-A Cobb salad. But the thing about that is I get it with grilled chicken. And if you get an order of grilled ch uh, chicken nuggets, that's 3.3 .3 ounces. I measured it se or weighed it several times and every single time that's what it comes out to. So if you're doing that for your entire protein for the day, you're going to need to almost double it. So, um, but it also has that grilled corn in there, but not very much. So because I'm more in that transitioning, I allow that, that grilled corn in mine. But if you're in that first month, two months, or that spam or that phase one, and you're trying to um, put that gas pedal all the way down to the floor, you know, just eliminate that corn. Um, and I love the little crispy um, tomato things that they have in there too, but that in the salad for, at Chick-fil-A, but that actually adds a little bit too much carbohydrate as well. So. Save that for when you're in your transition time as well. Okay, so I appreciate you sticking with us. Mike started at Hi what guys. weight? Uh, two, 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 two sixty two six. Two sixty two six. He's at two forty nine six. In, even sucking this week. In three weeks, not too doing many, <laughs> too much food, too much alcohol. So yeah. yes. Yeah. So guys are, you know, they kind of have a little bit more lucky than than women. I don't. But let's see what I do next week because I'm really going to hit it hard this week, guys. Okay, great. Thanks for watching and we'll keep you posted.